Right, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to Chippy's Couch. Today you join me for another round of the mod of Redemption. That's a little different to yesterday. Still figuring out the intro. But hey, usually when I go into these, I have a bit of an idea of what I'm going to say. You know, a little plan for the day. But I don't have that. I don't have anything, alright? So bear with me. Today might be a fair bit of yapping. Yeah, welcome back. Hope you've all been doing well. So, to kickstart today, uh, we have to go and check out these little thorns over to the right of our house. Because people have been saying that if we destroy them, we get some kind of item or something changes. Now, I don't really see how that's a possibility. Maybe by destroying them, potentially, you get, like, a crafting material. But it's rare. Kind of like... Uh, chopping down little bits of uh, debris and getting a worm. Oh, okay, here it is. The Heart of Thorns summons an unfortunate curse bearer, only usable at day. The chalice has something to say about this item. All right, let's let's uh, let's have a little look at the chalice in a moment. Do we need to break all of them? I think we might do. No, uh, well, we didn't, all right? We got the item we needed. I don't know why I double-checked, all right? In, in the back of my brain, I was like, James, this is it. So, this is the chalice, right? So, how do we interact these two together? I will click on it, and we'll discover it, and we'll find out. You are truly neutral. Um, oh. Oh, it's that simple. Wow, okay. A piece of blight from Feywood Forest, cursed by an ancient power. Uh, slaying whatever this may attract you, um, surely do good. I promise I read books. I promise, I promise. Slaying whatever this may attract will surely do good. Wow. <laughs> this is, yeah, <laughs> this is my, yeah, okay, all right, sure. All right, so by slaying whatever that spawns, we do good, right? Our morality is, is is on the good side. I cannot remember the word they used yesterday. Is it alignment? So I do want to talk about this real quick. Oh, the plan for today is we're going to go explore underground because we obviously still haven't gotten all of our accessories and all of our little bits. And I'm like, well, before we jump into like, oh, let's let's rush the Eye of Cthulhu. No, let's, ex let's explore... And, um, and yeah, let's check out anything that's new. Right, when we get down into the caves, I want to talk about this because I thought about this quite a bit last night. And I think I've landed on where I want to go with this alignment part of the mod. But yeah, today I'm actually uh, quite busy. That's why I didn't have time to, uh, to think ahead or really make a proper plan before coming into this. Not like I normally do. But usually, I do have some sense of what I'm going to say. You know, if I have a little tale to tell, I'll think about it beforehand. I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going to mention that on the couch because that's my little tale for the day. None of that. Absolutely none of it. Uh, I woke up. I went to the gym. That's right. I refuse to stop talking about it. Uh, Fitness James is my new arc. All right. No more slouch gang. No more breakfast of champions. No more pancake day memes. All right. Not even shared my recipe for pancakes. And I tell you what, right? I'm still a legend at it. I made so many pancakes on Pancake Day, you would not believe. All right, but it's lost the time now because my new arc, it doesn't justify me talking about it. Ooh, an extractor. All right, this will actually come in handy because we do have that like planty mush that we got at the very start. And that did say to put it in an extractor. And I was curious as to what the results of that will be. But yeah, going back to it, why am I so busy? Well, it's because after this recording, I am heading home, essentially, to go and pick up uh, Courtney's younger brothers. Courtney's younger brothers are staying for the weekend. It's going to be really nice, all right? But on the way, I want to swing by and I want to go see my uh, my mum because I haven't seen her in a little while. Well, I actually I saw her in my birthday, all right? So it's not, not really that long, all right? <laughs> in terms of, like, being a good son, I'm doing okay. Uh, but yeah, I wanna I wanna leave early so that I've got time for that. So um, so yeah, just quite busy today. Uh, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. I don't normally do this on a Friday. This is like a rare occurrence. Uh, but that probably means that you know this will be the final video for the week. But you know what? I'm really proud of myself. I've been back now for like what five days. That's a new streak. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on point today. Well, in just in general, five days in, I'm proud. Okay, we can all clap. 
Right, so, uh, let's try and not die of, um, of, what, what's it called? Suffocation? No breathing? Um, <laughs> what's it? Drowning. Oh, there's the word. Awesome. Please, please pray you're never around me in a state of emergency. I will be no use, all right? I'll be like, <laughs> what's, what's this sensation? It's drowning. Anyway, um, yeah, I really am, <laughs> I really am yapping today. That's all right, it's fine. Um, okay, morality, that's what I want to talk about, alignment. Once I've, once I've figured out how to breathe, I'll talk about it. <gasps> Perfect, right, let me grab this. Let me grab this. It's a band of regen, which we already had. Um, that's fine. I mean, this is early chest loot, right? Okay, alignment. Finally getting around to it. So this is where I've landed. I am not going to research alignment, like, at all. And if you also know nothing about alignment in this mod, I encourage you not to research it as well, so that your viewing experience is as good as my experience playing it will be. Okay? I'm going to approach everything with just a natural instinct. For example, if killing a boss makes you evil, if I kill that boss, then I'm evil, all right? If sparing a boss makes you good, and I want to spare the boss, I'll spare the boss. But I'm not going to think ahead. I'm going to go into it blind and see where we level out. Now, apparently, to see the most content in the mod, uh, it's best to be good. But that is as far as my knowledge of being good is going to go. I'm going to go in completely blind. And then also, if you have seen or know a lot about alignment in the mod, you get that anticipation of like, oh, what is James going to do? All right, where's he headed? But I think that will give me the best experience. I was thinking back to um, to Undertale. So in Undertale, or at least like for me, this was my first game I'd ever played where morality was a thing. You know, your choices have actions and there's different outcomes and whatnot. Now, I knew before going into Undertale the hype around this game because for a lot of people, that was their first experience as well. And it was the sentiment of you go into it, you don't have to kill anyone, you can be good and experience a nice ending. Now, because of that, I think I ruined my Undertale experience. I don't think I clicked with it so much towards the end of the game because I'd been, you know, I'd picked a path based on like, oh, I want to be the good guy, all right? Same with The Witcher 3. I played The Witcher 3 not knowing about the multiple endings or the fact that you can like, you know, influence different scenarios. You know what I got? I got the perfect ending. I got the best one, all right? So naturally, I aligned with the good side of gaming. Will I do that in this mod? I don't know, but I'm excited to experience it like that. However, that being said, all right, if you do have comments about uh, just like the progression in general, please don't be afraid to actually talk about, you know, where we're heading and, and whatnot. You know, I'm not too overly sensitive to spoilers. Um, so yeah, don't feel like you can't chat about it in the comments because you totally can, all right? And I'm excited to hear what you have to say about everything, all right? Look at me go. We have to use a holy weapon, don't we, to kill these? And we still don't have a holy weapon. I've still got so much to learn in this mod. It's honestly, it's been it's been a real race these past couple of days, just wanting to get to my computer to play this. What is this? So yeah, there is a lot of structures underground. Now I haven't ruined any for myself um, up close, but I was making the thumbnail yesterday, and I obviously have to scan the world a little bit on my thumbnail world to figure out what I'm going to include in the thumbnails. Because with this series in particular, I really... What happens if I break this? Oh, it's a tile. Oh, oh great. Awesome. <laughs> oh, no, it's a vanity item. What? That's so cool. All right. Um, with this series in particular, I really want to make sure my thumbnails are good. And I'll tell you why. I remember when we played Mod of Redemption back in the day, all right? I don't think the skeletons are plotting a party at dusk. What? What is this? Anyway, I don't think I gave the original series um, a good set of thumbnails. And I actually think I did the mod a bit of a disservice by not doing that. Now, don't get me wrong, all right? My, you know, it was a, a, it was a good series, right? People watched it, clearly. But I still regret it. I still regret the fact that I didn't put the time in with the thumbnails back then. It was alright once we got to, like, chicken run. I could just bang big chickens in the thumbnails. Anyway, this is all to say that I'm going to really try and make sure the thumbnails are good in this series. So that people are enticed to click. Because I want people to check out this mod. That's my goal. Um, ultimately, by giving some more attention to this mod. While also having a very good time myself. You know, but it's a two-way street. I want people to actually 
go and check this mod out and support it so that we keep getting good mods like this. Okay, right. Do we head back? I, I want to see the skeleton party at dusk. Is this going to be a mini event on the surface? I think it might be. Um, so let me quickly blow up this gold so then we can start making like armor. I don't usually make gold armor, but I'm like, well, do you know what though? Gold armor, just armor in Terraria in general. You need so much ore to make armor. And now I don't care how slow I'm going to play Terraria. Nine times out of ten, I am not making ore armor. We'll see how much I can make though. Um, what are you selling? Bedazzled nectar. Uh, okay, nothing of interest. That's good. That's good. I don't feel too guilty about leaving it all behind. Right, so let's make then some armor. Um, well, let's make some bars first. Let's see here. What, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I just did then. I just, um, <laughs> okay, right. Do you know what it is? I think it's because I'm not used to having my chests below my crafting station. So, like, my brain was doing the actions of, oh, you open this chest, you make the bars, you craft the item. No. So what happens at dusk? I tell you what, real quick, I am going to establish, I'm going to get some gems. I'm going to make us a bed so that we can skip time. I'm still doing it now. Look, you can see me like fumbling, like where's all the crafting stuff? <laughs> I'm just not used to it. Yeah, I'm going to make a, oh wait, we already have a loom, don't we? Because I grabbed it. Did I grab it today or was it in the last video? No, it's there. All right, cool. Anyway, I'm making a bed. This armor is definitely something I want to make. I want to make this uh, guard armor because I think the design for it is really, really cool. I like these helmets a lot. I jive with them. But I don't know where to get the steel that you need or whatever it was called. Um, I'm already forgetting things already, but you know how it goes, right? Um, yeah, I want to make that. I want to make it. So far, we've found stuff in... Like the little like uh, caves that the mod makes and stuff like that. We found little piles of it. So I do wonder, is it just like around the world? Is it just scattered about? I'm going to find out though. Okay, right. So we want to wait until dusk. So I'm just going to... Uh, now I'm debating when dusk is. Is dusk six o'clock? <laughs> I, I actually don't know. I don't know. And I promise I read. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a watch and then that should hopefully help us out. So before I forget, let's figure out what this plant matter is. Yeah. It gives you herbs, which is, uh, really, really handy considering we're not using, um, you know, mods that give us potions and whatnot. So I can see here that we got some nightshade. A purple plant that blooms in the night. Interesting. Uh, let's see then what it makes. So it makes night owl. It makes charisma. Uh, shops have lower prices. Enemies drop more gold. That's really cool. The fact you need a golden carp though. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to be making that. Maybe towards the end. You can also make a vendetta potion. Attackers also take damage and get inflicted by poison. So it's kind of like thorns but better. Cool. All right. Sick. Um, so what time is it then? It's only, it's only 10. What did it say? The skeletons are plotting a party at dusk. I googled what time is dusk and it came up with three minutes past six <laughs> GMT. So I'm going to linger around till six. I may have missed whatever this is or, you know, maybe I'm too smooth brain for it. But I do assume it's a uh, I assume it's like a mini event. Also, we're going to take a little look at boss checklist here. Uh, just to make sure that we've actually seen what's going down. So, yeah, I was about to say, I reckon Fawn is what we picked up at the start. Now, it does say to do this after King Slime. Do we pay attention to this? I feel like we've played enough Terraria now not to really bother. And we do know that this will surely do good so this shifts the alignment a little bit i think maybe we should give this a go maybe instead of waiting around until dusk i'm going to spend the next couple of minutes uh having a go at this so let me actually grab then we do have a hook uh, because we decapitated a skeleton that's right we can also make a slime staff what oh so it's made out of elder wood and gel 
I may as well make that. I may as well. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna try a boss and get my alignment up, may as well give it a go. Alright. But yeah, this is one of those scenarios where I'm like, I know I wanna kill a boss in the sense of like I want to experience everything. And if we do some good by doing it, sure. Alright? The chalice is a really sick addition though. Just like helping you like have a little bit of a guiding hand, like, you know, if you're wanting to play purely good, you know, or whatever it is, right? Now you got like a little a little hint towards the future. Right, I'm gonna uh, make some bottled water real quick. There is some water down here. Um, and then we'll make some buffs and, and give it a go. So we'll head over in that direction. That's right. He's still yapping. That's okay. I did see somebody yesterday. Uh, so I did a little YouTube poll that was like, hey, I'm back. Have you subscribed? Have you not subscribed? Uh, for anybody wondering why I do that is I learn during the push for 1 million subscribers back in the day on uh, Chippy Gaming that every once in a while, YouTube will randomly send your community posts out to uh, to anyone. And I find that fascinating because I've been on YouTube a really long time. There was never a feature like that and I, I still find it a little strange. Anyway, somebody commented on it and was like, oh, I subscribed, you know, not that long ago. Uh, but I don't know the lore of the couch. I, <laughs> I'm going to make it my effort in this little let's play to um to let you in on the lore of the couch if you've missed anything. Or just, you know, you'll pick it up secondhand, all right? But there are a couple of staples that make this channel what it is. Lots of yapping, right? Which is like my key thing. Me getting sick midway through uh, an adventure. Like, I'm sure it's going to happen any day now. Uh, not knowing how to read is really important. So the key fundamentals of the couch. Um, Caleb is is a commenter we've had for years now. He tracks the deaths or they track the deaths. That's just a thing that happens. So I hope you're all caught up for now. I'll be weaving in more as we go. Let's begin. Hell yeah. I'm excited. This mod is obviously not about boss fights. Whoa. Now you, I remember you, Fawn, Bane with the Forest. You did not look this good. You didn't. Fawn, Bane of the Forest, you have had a glow up. But yeah, this this mod isn't about bosses. Um, yeah, gives us something to do. Uh, <laughs> you have had a glow up though. You look good. Let me tell you, all right? Fawn's also been hitting the gym. You can you can see it. You can see it. Aren't they glowing? Um, <laughs> it's cool though. All right. So is this where I get the, the chance to, to spear them? Is that what's happening here? No. No, they're just sending stuff my way. I would love if I speared them and then the world got worse. We come back tomorrow. All the trees are dead. I don't know the lore of this. We'll figure it out as we go. I definitely will be reading lore aspects in this mod. And I'm excited to. Fawn bait of the forest. So far, a pretty, pretty chill fight. Obviously, it's a beginning fight. I would say maybe... Okay. The forest flora blooms. Fawn, Bane of the Forest, has been defeated, and the traveling merchant has disappeared. It's now 6 o'clock. Uh, when it hits 6.03, it's technically dusk, all right? Google told me so. Uh, let's put the trophy up here for the person that said you can't hang on glass. I am so sorry. Um, opening it up then. Bam. We got the circlet of brambles equipable. Every fifth use of a magic weapon shoots a spread of stingers. Increased life regeneration while in the jungle, and you get 6% increased nature elemental critical strike chance. Now, we're obviously not going to use that right now because we're not really playing a uh, mage as of now. But once we, you know, I'm going to mess around with loads of things in this mod. But I will save this for when we're in the jungle. So we got the godly root tendril, 18 summon damage. Your summons will focus struck enemies. Striking enemies with the tip of the whip will heal the user. So is this a is this an actual whip then? Oh wow, look at that. That's really cool. Considering we just made the slime staff, what a neat little addition. Now listen, I don't see any uh I don't see any um zombies or skeletons thrown a party. What's going on? Now, what happened to the chalice then? So our alignment is two. You are choosing the right path. Please continue. Gosh, Chalice, you're a little biased, are you? <laughs> I wonder how that factors... Oh, there you go. The skeletons are partying. Until party's over. What? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? 
don't mind if you can hear Atari in the background, all right? We've got a delivery. He's a he's a good cocker spaniel that loves to bark at the door. <laughs> he is our guard dog. Wow, the music is spot on as well for this. <laughs> like, what is this? I love it. I love it. Oh, no, not the shield ones. We still haven't figured out how to deal with the shields. Hey, I tell you what, can my summon deal damage to it? Oh, it can. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thanks, summon. Appreciate you. What's that? Skeleton flag bearer. What? Was this in the mod last time we played? I actually don't know. So these little lost souls, I imagine once we have the right weapon, we'll be able to collect those or something. God, the music's so good, right? Come here, I'll be I'll be quiet for a second. I'll let you enjoy some music and some some gameplay sounds. All right, that's as much as you're getting. All right, just like yesterday. I can tell you've not liked the video, so you know it's. I've got to I've got to give it in small doses. That's fine. So we're picking up a. Uh, we're picking up Grave Steel Shards. And we're also picking up some more of this money. Oh yeah, that's something I wanted to do. I wanted to build some more houses. I'm going to do that before we end today. So that we have a couple more rooms to uh, have NPCs move in. Because I imagine we're uh, we're not seeing all the ones that the mod wants to add. Maybe after defeating this event, you actually get another NPC. I could totally see that being a possibility. There's another flag bearer over here. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Even these, if we have done this event in the past, I don't particularly recognize it because it's had a glow up. The sprites are gorgeous. I don't know who's working on the art in this mod, but you're doing an incredible job. I imagine it's probably multiple people. Or potentially they've got carpal tunnel. You know, I don't wanna I don't wanna discriminate. Alright, it might be multiple well, it might be one person with just a very, very painful wrist. And probably not a lot of vitamin D. Uh, because I've not seen the sun. <laughs> Just like me. I live in England, alright? That's a joke I could make. Um, cool. What is this? The Duelist. Oh, I love it. They've got f <laughs> two swords. They just need a third. Then they can be like Zoro. Uh, wow, you have a lot of health. <laughs> so, okay. So we're only 57% of the way through. And now the music is, uh, is looping. All right, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll I'll wrap this up. If anything mad happens, I'll let you know. I will say the music itself is reminding me a lot of, uh, and this is a weird connection, but The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap, all right? A little adventure that's Game Boy sized. Such a great game. But there's something about this track that's like, oh, it just reminds me of like the cozy vibe of the, the village that you kind of like center the uh, adventure around. Gosh, what a good game. Also, I just want to say, this is bonkers to me. So there's a bit, if you're a Nintendo fan, you'll know this, right? Oh, oh, no way. All right, so we got one piece of the armor. If you're a Nintendo fan, you'll know about the game Mother Free, all right? Or Earthbound Free. Nobody calls it that. Mother Free, right? It's been this big thing for years that people have desperately wanted the English translation uh, to be released over in like, you know, the rest of the world and whatnot. Nintendo have never done it. Now, I've heard loads of reasons why. Uh, apparently, there are some themes that have just, like, not really aged well. Uh, or not, you know? There's, there's, there's reasons, anyway. But Nintendo have done their best to just ignore the game all these years. But then, during the partner event the other day, they were like, Oh, yeah, if you're in Japan, we're adding it to Nintendo Switch Online. You have just lit the biggest flame, Nintendo. Why did you do this? Why? <laughs> I just feel like you've just... I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine working as their uh, social media manager. I bet it's just like it's awful. I can't honestly remember why I even brought that up, but yeah, that's just been on my mind. The skeleton, the skeletons got bored and went home. Great. Awesome. Well, you know, that's the way it goes, all right? It's a, it was a good night out. I don't know if they got bored. I reckon they, they partied too hard. It was a good night. That's how I like to see it. Probably got bored of me <laughs> whipping them about with the root tendril, I'm sure. Uh, so, we did get a piece of that armor, which is very exciting. Uh, unfortunate. Alright, so we have a couple more houses. Hopefully we, uh, we get the chance to meet some new NPCs. Now, while I was building it, a slime rain begun. Now, I did say I'm not too bothered about rushing through the bosses. Uh, but this is a chance at a free king slime fight, which means we can save our gold, not make a crown, alright? And then we can make the, the chicken crown, or whatever it was called. So, yeah, a free fight against King Slime? Sure. Alright, King Slime has awoken. 
Now, I will say, if this doesn't end up uh, being a good fight, really do not mind. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about uh, rushing bosses. I'm already, I'm already butchering this a little bit. That's okay. Uh, maybe we will enable or put on the uh, the bramble accessory. So if we can use a little bit of mana, uh, you know, it goes a long way. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll float between uh, the bow and arrow and the uh, the mage weapon. But yeah, I'm not I'm not too bothered about rushing bosses. But I'm just like, well, it gets it out of the way this one. You know, at the end of the day, it's a vanilla boss. It would be really funny though if this uh, played into the morality system, the alignment system. And it's like, James, how could you have killed this King Slime? That poor ninja inside, he's dead now. And you did that. I would honestly, I would love if it was, if it came down to really big and really small things, but just really randomly. If it's like, oh, um, you you did take out that boss and everyone was really happy, all the NPCs were, uh, NPCs were pleased, uh, but you did kill that chicken. And for that, we can't forgive you. I expect a, a heap of uh, chicken alignment issues. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that is to come, I'm sure. That's where I believe the, the mod is truly heading. Mod of redemption, though. You know, when you talk about alignment, redemption. I hope you're connecting the dots here. It's all to do with chickens, all right? It's, it's, can, can chicken run two uh, be redeemed with chicken run three? And these are the questions of life. And this is what I'm bringing you on this channel, all right? So stay tuned. Wow, we're doing really good with this. I really do like the uh, the particles of this uh, this weapon. It looks really cool. Okay, let's keep it going. Look at me, Mr. No Boss is doing two in a row. What am I doing? <laughs> I can't help it. Infernum's infecting my brain. I'm like, I've just got to keep killing bosses. <laughs> all right, well, there we go. What's our alignment now? Oh, it's still two. Thank gosh, thank gosh. What, what happens if we pet this slime? Hmm, it hasn't changed. Something's really off balance with this mod, I'm telling you right now. At least we got a... Well, we didn't really need that. <laughs> right, well, that's going to do it for today. Uh, what? The Blobble Swarm has arrived. What is that? What's a Blobble Swarm? Oh my god, one's got a fez. <laughs> Well, what am I meant to do now? I can't wrap it up when they're, when they're dressed this dapper with such exquisite hats. Gosh, what even is this? This is like, oh, you killed King Slime? Well, don't worry. We're just going to bring you the best content you've ever seen in Terraria. It's fine. Um, that was it. <laughs> that was the Blobble Swarm. Awesome. Right, well, that's it for today. Uh, I should be back on Sunday, but probably Monday. So have a great weekend, everyone. When we come back, we are off straight back to caving. Uh, we have so much to explore. I don't want to do another boss until we've uh, seen a bit more of the world. But yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.